Hi, I'm Talon Kell, and I'm here with Jarvis Sheffield of Black Science Fiction Society. Hello, thank you for... <laughs> Oh, can we're we this. The, oh, we're oh, okay, okay. Hello, and thank you. All right, so I'm going to say this right now because I like to keep it real. You can use, you can be yourself. Okay. You can relax. <laughs> it ain't that deep. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm here at we're at Onyx Con Sankofa 2018, which is um, it's I like to call it a pop-up independent artist market. Um, how would you describe Onyx Con? I would describe Honest Khan as an Afrofuturistic cultural experience. All right, I'm going to go with independent comics, pop-up <laughs> comics. <market. laughs> but no, it actually, it's actually a, a really awesome convention, and it's something where you can come here and you can find, like you said, it's very, very black-focused, which is, you know, very important for us because, especially in popular media, they don't write us into the future. They always imagine these futures where we aren't here. So... Tell me about the Black Science Fiction Society. All right, Black Science Fiction Society is basically a social network that's geared toward black science fiction and related topics. We try to pull together all the black science fiction and Afrofuturism together in one place that we can find. We have like over 5,000 members from around the world that are members. We have about 11,000 on Facebook, 10,000 on Twitter. And what we do, we support each other in creating and disseminating black science fiction. Well, that is awesome. So when did you start this? Um, it's, it'll be 10 years ago, uh, May, no, I'm sorry, March 8th. So in less than a month, we'll be 10 years old. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So, you know, I've been on the site, and I see that back here, this is kind of what it is. It's very, it's still, it, it looks very much like MySpace. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I think... We kind of patterned ourselves after um, some of the norms of science fiction and some of the norms of social social media, so that it wouldn't be it'll be something that people are familiar with and it's interactive. It's not just a regular website where you just go look at the stuff and leave. You can come here and do stuff. You can post pictures. You can read um, articles. You can post articles and blogs and look at videos and things of that nature. And you can also find events like this around the country in one place. That is pretty awesome. So what made you decide to do this? I think there was a, a combination of things that were happening. Um, I think I was uh, motivated by Barack Obama. He was doing his thing. He was this guy trying to stretch beyond just being the regular to the highest office in the, in the planet. And so that was a motivator. And my son, and one of the other things that pushed me, my son, he was a little kid, I think he may have been about seven at the time and he was like dad we were watching some movie i can't even remember what it was but he was like dad why are all the bad guys black people and so that pushed me into a big conversation about race and things of that nature with him that i did not uh, know i'd be talking to him about uh, that early but i was like i need to do something and i had the domain name for four years it was an idea in my head that i hadn't moved on and that kind of pushed me i'm like i can't do any movies right now. I can't animate. I don't know a magazine. What I can do, what I can do as a web is I can pull together all the resources that I know of in one place and share that with everybody. So we started with maybe 20 people and now we're up to over 5,000. Wow. That's impressive. And I completely understand the motivation behind That's a horrible question to have to answer, isn't it? Almost definitely. But I, I'm glad he asked because that was the tipping point that pushed me to do something. That is cool. So, do you have any plans for, you know, moving the website forward? Oh, most definitely. It's, um, right now we're at that 10-year 10, 10 mark of a 20-year project, so I kind of think of things in chunks of 20 years at a time, so some of the things that we want to add in addition to doing a radio show, doing a magazine, we um, have reviews, doing the site itself. We're working on a 3D film as we speak. Um, we want to add our own event. We want to continue to start building chapters around the world um, where local people can gather together and do the same thing just um, and as an official organization. And probably another half dozen things I can't think of right now. <laughs> One of the other things, we start experimenting with building, making toys and also with developing games. So we started some of these processes, but we want to continue them and, and grow them as time goes by. So let's, let's, I want to back up a little bit because you mentioned that, you know, your, the site currently has a radio show and a magazine. 
and reviews. Yeah. So what are other parts of the site that people might be interested in? Uh, one of the big things I want to always share with people is like the events calendar. There are numerous events just like OnyxCon around the country that you can attend and we post those events here so people can go to them because a lot of times people are like oh I don't even I never heard of this well all you have to do is go to the event section and you can find out about this you can find out about Motor City Black Age you can find out about Atlanta Sci-Fi Expo East Coast Black Age of Comics and even one of the newer ones that just started in um, New York like last week Black Comics uh, Expo so can anybody join Anybody can join. It's open. It's black science fiction, but it's open for everyone. Everyone needs to see us in a different light. So we have white members, we have young, we have old, we have Spanish, we have everything. And I liken it to, um, say you have a, a Chinese restaurant or a Latin restaurant. It's you. You know what you're getting. It's in, on the onset, but it's open to everybody. Because like I say, everybody needs to see us in a different light. So about what about contributors? Can anybody contribute? Mm -hmm, most definitely. We have, um, just for example, Bill McCormick. He's a white guy that he um, is. He's doing one of the voices in our movie that we're developing. He also has written stories in the, in the magazine. So now um, that's an interesting thing to me because if we're promoting black science fiction, then having white creators could be kind of problematic. It can be problematic, but sometimes we don't know people's background. He's tied in. His stepmother's a black woman. Oh, another friend of mine on Facebook, his child is, is a black child. So he's going in hard for black people, and people don't even know. So everyone is in our, our enemy. You have to, I, you can use this term, it's RCP, the right Caucasian people. <laughs> So I coined that phrase 10 years ago, so if you hear it again, I want some uh, some royalties. I, I hear you, I hear you. I'm, I'm personally, I'm like, none of them are invited to the cookout. Because uh, <laughs> they, they, it's just exhausting. But everybody, you have your own platform. Everybody does their platform differently, and I think everybody needs to do their platform differently. Like, we are not a monolith. Right. And so, you know, it's important to feel free in your space to develop it the way you want to develop it. Thank you, thank you. Because you, you, like you said, one thing that you just pulled out, you said we're not a mono, we're not all the same. And so that's a good thing. And so it's, it's space for everybody that looks like us within this genre. Very true. So um, you mentioned Up Next Steps and you mentioned that you're, talk, you're doing a movie now. Yes. Can you give a little bit more detail about that? Okay, the movie is called Earth Squadron. You can find out more about it at earthsquadron.com. And it's basically, um, I guess you can mix, the closest thing I could say, you take um, Independence Day and uh, maybe Avengers and smash it together. Okay. And it's, it's multicultural. The president of the planet is a black woman. And so we have invaders that are coming and how the inter interpersonal dynamics um, interact in that movie. It, it should be interesting for people to see. So how soon do you think that'll be rolling out? Um, we're looking at a, another, we've been working on this project for four years. I think it'll be another two years before it sees the light of day where you can actually go see it or download it, but probably another two years. So we're looking at 2020. Okay. You know what? That'll be on you before you even realize it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fast, but it's a great experience. I didn't know what we were getting into when we started this project, <laughs> but that's did. good because it, we're pushing our, pushing our boundaries and being able to create and not just sit back and watch and wish and hope what other somebody else is going to do. I always believe in us being our own savior. You know, be the change that we complain about. If you see something in, in life that you're, you're, you feel passionate about, don't sit on the sidelines. Get out here and drop your buckets where they are and do something. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out to talk with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your OnyxCon. All right. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs>